What's up guys, Matt and Blake from the Football Boots team and today we're going to be running through every single 2018 World Cup shirt. Yes, that's right. We're going to be giving our opinion on these shirts and we want to hear your opinion as well in the comments section below. We'll kick things off with Group A looking at the Russia home kit supplied by Adidas. I don't mind this kit. What do you think of the home kit? For me, I think it's a little bit too old school. That's the design and also the fit. Sometimes with Adidas football shirts, I just feel they're not that tight. I much prefer Nike's ones where they're much more about performance, but the overall design, I think it's a little bit retro. And this is the white away kit. Got sort of a pattern on the front and on the sleeves as well. Again, very, very understated and simple. What do you think of this? Yeah, I much prefer Russia's away kit compared to their home shirt. And it's a little bit of a shame for me that the home shirt for the host isn't as powerful as it could be. On to the next kits. Now we're talking about the Egypt Home and Away kits. Again, supplied by Adidas. And the home shirt is red with black sleeves. Red Adidas three stripes. A little bit of a pattern on the front there. What do you think of the home? I'm not too sure about the tartan design. And again, from Adidas, I think it's a little bit too old school. Another shame because Mo Salah is going to be one of the biggest players in the World Cup, but not wearing one of the better shirts. And that Away kit is probably one of the most basic out of the whole World Cup kits. Pretty much all white with black sleeves. Same template. Again, very, very simple. Head over to the next team who we're looking at. We are looking at Saudi Arabia who have their kits supplied by Nike. What do you think of this? Yeah, I think this is actually quite smart. I like this Nike kit template. It's quite sleek. I like this silhouette. Yeah. And all over white with a little bit of pop green, I'm having this a lot. And this is the away shirt. So a pine green away shirt. It's the same color I wear in my Sunday league kit. I actually don't mind this with a simple solid template as you said, what do you think of this? Yeah, very decent again. And one thing I like about this kit is a national crest. I think that is actually as crest go, a pretty decent one as well. And the last team in group A is Uruguay, expected to probably top their group. This is their home shirt supplied by Puma. Now looking at this, it's very, very simple, isn't it? Yeah, it's very simple, but sky blue is a bit of a smash color for me. I think in yeah. terms of Uruguay shirts, this is a quite nice one. They're always quite similar because they're all over solid baby blue, almost that sky blue tone. But for me, I think it passes. And the away kit, again, using that same template, just a solid white design. I think this is very, very simple, but it does actually work. What do you think of this? Yeah, again, just like you said, simple, white with a little bit of baby blue and a little bit of gold trim, it looks like. I think this is all right as well. Over to Group B now, we're now we're looking at Spain. Again, kits are supplied by Adidas. And I think this is one of my favorite shirts so far. Pretty much all red with that really, really nice design on that right side of the shirt. Adidas three stripes are in gold. Matty, what do you think? Well, Adidas in Group A, I thought they were a bit of a flop. But Group B, this is an absolute smash. What a shirt this is. For any of those kind of neutral national fans, I think the Spain home shirt could be one that you could definitely jump on. Incredible, obviously takes inspiration from something like this shirt in 94, yeah. but I think this is such a nice touch. And looking at their away kit, again, this is not a solid white design, it's almost a sort of light gray design with red trim. I actually really, really rate this, considering it's just a sort of a solid white shirt. It's a bit of a pattern on that front panel. What do you think of this? Yeah, I think the white and red looks real smart together, to be fair. It reminds me of an away shirt but for Valencia one time, but I think overall for an away kit to complement the home, I think it's pretty solid. Now another top team in this group is Portugal. Now this is probably again one of my favourite kits so far. Again, it's just all oh, a solid design. It's that new Vaporknit template. Pretty much that red with a bit of green on that collar there. Gold trim. What do you think of this? This new technology from Nike looks so smart and also it gets a very nice tight fit overall. And I just think this Portugal home shirt, although it's simple, looks so classy. I actually think I prefer the simple designs than the sort of gradient pattern designs. And this is again, very, very classy. It's that white template, white shorts, white socks, with a bit of a pattern on that front panel of the shirt. What do you think of this? Yeah, I think this is classy again. So, so far we've had Spain very nice, and then Portugal, obviously two massive rivals. And although I'm probably more of a Spain fan, I'm gonna say that a Portugal shirt actually take top spot. Now there's no kits released yet for Morocco and Iran, so we'll head over straight to Group C with France. They have their Nike kits, and I love this design. It's probably my favorite entire kit of the video so far. That's tricolor, so blue top, white shorts, and red socks. What do you think of this? Well, again, it's all about that Vaporknit technology. We can see it much more clearly this time compared to Portugal's yep. on those sleeves. The two tones of blue look so well together, and I just think the France kit overall, the whole strip, the blue, white, and the red, the tricolor, just looks so sick. 
And we'll just quickly look at the away kit. And again, you can see that very, very nice vaping it tracksuit. But you can see the away kit there. Very, very nice. It's very, very similar to that Portugal away kit as well. All white with a bit of a sort of pattern on the sleeves and the front panel. Now over to Peru. They had their kits supplied by Umbro. And it's a very traditional look for them. They always have that sort of band across from one shoulder to the base of the shirt. Very, very classic. What do you think of this? Yeah, definitely old school. Umbro are one of those kind of traditionalist companies and they've kind of epitomized that with Peru shirt. You can pretty much go back years and years and the Peru shirts look very similar throughout history. And the away kit is pretty much an invert of the home shirt where red replaces the white and white replaces the red. Exact same kit template. Very, very nice. I'll head over to the next team. Who are we looking at? This is the Denmark home shirt. Now it's inspiration from previous Denmark World Cup shirts as well. What do you think of this? So what Hummel and Denmark actually asked fans was to submit some of their favorite shirts. So that's what they did. And then Hummel put together a compilation of all their different shirts from history to create their brand new one for the 2018 World Cup. Now the Australia kits have not been released yet, but it's likely the home shirt will be that all gold and the away shirt could be either be white or a sort of dark green design. That's usually what they have. Over to Group D now, we're talking about Argentina. This is their home shirt supplied by Adidas. Personally, I think it's a very, very nice design compared to the one we saw in 2014. What do you think? I think it's okay. Obviously, the blue and white stripes is so iconic and the color combination is very nice. But for me, I don't particularly like that blue color this time. It's okay. a little bit too subtle. I like it when it's pop blue, but I don't think it's too bad. I just prefer some ones from history. Now, I'm going to be honest here. This is the away shirt for Argentina at the World Cup. I think this is very, very template-y. I'm not in love with it. It almost looks like a training top. Mostly black with a sort of gradient design coming from the shoulders, under the arms, and white Adidas three stripes. What do you think of this? I think you're right about it looking like a training top. But that being the side, I'm going to say I actually do like it. A black Argentina away shirt we haven't seen for a very long time. And I just think, although it might look training shirt, I still like it. Over to the next team, we are looking at Iceland, who have the kits made by Aria. I actually really, really rate the home and away designs, and I think it's perfect for a team like Iceland. Very, very patriotic. I love that home shirt with that royal blue. What do you think? One of the best teams in Euro 2016, and also everyone's favorite second team. Yeah. And alongside that, their shirts in Euro 2016 sold really well, and I'm sure these ones for the World Cup coming up are going to be exactly the same. I really like that pattern on the sleeves. Now over to Croatia, who have their kits supplied by Nike, and I have to say, this again is one of my favorite kits I've seen so far. What do you think, Manny? One of the most recognizable national shirts in the entire world because of those red and white squares all across the body. I love the one for Euro 2016, which almost had a wavy effect going across it, and this one, with a little bit of a graphic on each border of the square, yep. I think looks really nice as well. And of course, Luka Modric is one of my favorite players. So Croatia are gonna be one of my second teams for the World Cup. And this is Mandzukic headlining the away shirt, the same kit template, but we see a blue and black design. Again, I'm not in love with this, but for an away shirt, I think it's okay. What do you think? Yeah, it's not too bad for me. I would never put navy blue and black together. I wish they could have gone with a black and white square, but of course it doesn't really make much sense for the nation, but I think that would have looked really cool too. And over to the last team in Group D, we're talking about Nigeria, one of the first teams to reveal their kits. Now this is probably the one of the most exciting kits so far in the World Cup list. What do you think of this? For me, I think this is number one in the entire World Cup. It is so different. We haven't seen anything like this since like the 90s when the retro yep. was all in. Yep. But now, of course, they're going back to that kind of design and I think it looks so, so sick with that green and white diag stripes yep. and also on the sleeves in black and white. So that is their home shirt and their away shirt is probably, again, very, very simple. Again, very similar to that Saudi Arabia away kit. Pretty much a dark green design. This is John Uber Macau wearing it with green trim on the logo and the Swiss logo. What do you think of this? Yeah, pretty solid. I'm not really a fan of green kits, as no. probably Blake already knows, yep. but I think for a green kit, because it's so dark green, it almost has a luxurious touch to it, so I think it's actually all right. Now over to Group E, and we have Brazil with their Nike kits. Now this, again, compared to the 2014 home kit, I love this so much. It's pretty much a canary yellow kit with green trim, blue shorts and white socks. It is perfect. What do you think of this? Brazil's home shirt is one of those strips which you should never really change. It's so iconic all yep. the way from back in Pelé, like the 60s and the 70s, all over yellow, solid yellow with some green touches. I think that's exactly what the Brazil shirt should be, and that is what Nike had delivered for them for this World Cup. 
And their away kit, again, is that classic blue design. Their top, their shorts, and the socks are all blue with a bit of green and yellow trim. What do you think of this? Yeah, I think this is class again. Blue from top to toe. Obviously, Cortino wearing it looks so, so swagging it. I think for me, Brazil shirt is always going to be one of my favorites because it was one of my own personal favorite shirts yep. from a kid. I had a Roberto Carlos home shirt when I was at eight years old. So it'll always be a personal favorite of mine. And over to Switzerland, who haven't launched their Puma home shirt yet. This is their away shirt, which has the same kit template as the Uruguay home and away kits. Very, very simple. What do you think, Matty? For me, it's a little bit too basic. And Puma, I'm prone to overdoing on the basic kind of side of things in terms of style. It's just a little bit too white. It's got some red trim on there, but for me, nothing to really shout home about. Now, New Balance debut in the World Cup with the Costa Rica home shirt. Now, this, again, very, very simple, but if you look at it closely, it's got a sort of very, very nice gradient line pattern. I think it's okay. Pretty much perfect for Costa Rica. What do you think? I think it's actually okay as well, and I think I prefer this one over Puma's kit. So, so far, I'm saying New Balance are a little bit ahead of Puma at a time, but not quite there against Adidas and Nike. Now heading over to Serbia, who just recently signed a kit deal with Puma. Now this is a very, very similar kit to the Switzerland home kit, I'm thinking. What do you think of this? Nah, it's not for me. Again, a little bit too basic. I'm not too sure about the shoulder panels. It just looks like it's almost like a non-leagues team kit. Yeah, exactly. Who aren't spending the most amount of money for their kits. To me, it just feels a little bit too cheap. And this is their away shirt. Now this is a bit more exciting than the Switzerland away shirt. It's got a nice sort of line design in the middle. Again, I like this a bit more. What do you think of this? Yeah, it's better. And the reason it's better is because there's actually something going on with it. If you take away that middle stripe, again, it will be a little bit too boring. So at least Puma have tried something a little bit different on their away shirt. Now over to Group F. Now we're looking at the title favorites, I think. Germany, back-to-back -back World Cup winners, I think. This is their home shirt launched ages ago. What do you think of this? Yeah, this is an absolute smash. Just like Spain's home shirt, this is definitely one of the pick of the bunch for the 2018 World Cup. And just like that Spain home shirt, I think it takes inspiration from maybe their 1990 home shirt. Yep. I love that little bit of chest detail. Added that smash, all the retro kind of design. So I think this is a big hit. I think this is probably my favorite away kit so far in this entire video. Again, it's inspired by previous away kits Germany have had. It's got that iconic graphic pattern on the sleeves and front panel with white as the trim color. What do you think of this? Yeah, this is a big away shirt. As I just said, green isn't my favorite color, but in this tone, almost a little bit of teal, yep. I think this is so, so nice. And being an England fan, I could probably never wear a Germany shirt, but if I could, this would definitely be one of my picks. Over to Mexico now. Now this is their home shirt made by Adidas again. I think this is all right. It's another dark green shirt. A lot of dark green colors in this World Cup with a nice sort of geometric pattern on that sort of underarm there. What do you think of this? Yeah, I think it's okay as well. Obviously Mexico home shirt, you can't really do too much with it. Yeah. I think they'd be happy. So I think, yeah, it's not too bad. And the away shirt, again, very simple. It is white and this is Chicorito revealing a sort of weird pattern on the front there, it almost looks like a hungry flag. What do you think of this? Yeah, I like it a lot. It reminds me of the Belgium home shirt for the 2016 Euro, where it had that flag across the chest panel. I like what Adidas have done here, so I'm gonna say, yeah, this is a pass. Again, another Adidas team in this group is Sweden, who knocked out Italy to make it to the World Cup. This is, again, one of my favorite kits so far. An old template with the Adidas three stripes under the sleeves and on the flanks with a nice sort of diagonal pattern. What do you think of this? Yeah, like what you just said, I love the Adidas three stripes underneath the arms. I think that's a really nice touch. And the Sweden color combination of that bright yellow with that royal blue, yeah. it's always gonna be one of the best around. And their away kit, again, very, very nice. That royal blue, Overtakes that yellow, a very, very nice kit template. I like this a lot as well, what do you think? Yeah, pretty solid, just like the home shirt. Obviously they switched the colors around, so now it's mainly blue with some yellow accents, but I think Sweden have done pretty well for their kits. Now over to the home shirt of South Korea. It's entirely red, a solid red design, and the away shirt, it's a bit more exciting. Which one would you go for out of the two? I'd probably go for the away shirt, but saying that, the home shirt isn't too bad. As Blake said, it is a solid red, but of course it is made from that Vaponet technology. Yeah. So it's gonna have some kind of pattern on the sleeves, which you can't really just see in pictures. But I think they're both okay. Obviously underdogs in the World Cup, they might do a bit, but I think on paper they could struggle.
Now over to Group G, we're talking about the Belgium home kit. Now I think a lot of people would like this. This is personal preference, I'm not liking it a lot, what do you think? It's not for me either, I think it's a little bit too old school. No. Adidas obviously smashed the retros for Spain and obviously Germany, but I think they've let Belgium down a little bit too much here. Obviously I said earlier about their 2016 Euro home shirt, which was an absolute smash, but for me, I don't really like this one. Over to the away kit now. Now this is a bit more exciting. It's almost like a canary yellow Brazil color with a bit of a gradient pattern on that front panel and on the sleeves. The Adidas three stripes are red and black. I like this a lot more. Yeah, I'm a massive fan of this as well. The yellow is almost like a gold tone and gold and black with a bit of red. I think that is an absolute smash. So if I were to have a different kit compared to England, this might be one of my favorite picks. Now over to the African nation of Tunisia. They have their kits supplied by Your Sport. White for their home and red for their way with a gradient pattern on the underarms. I think these are okay for Tunisia, what do you think? I think they're real basic, although they do have that flank detail, but I still think they're okay. Probably still better than Puma in my opinion as well. Now over to the big boys, England. Now this is their home shirt. I like it a lot compared to the 2014 World Cup home shirt. I like this a lot. It's classic, it's simple. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's classic. Again, obviously Nike's vaping it. I keep saying it, but yeah. the little technology makes it so nice and snug fitting. And also the little pattern on the sleeves as well is such a nice touch. Just like I said about the Brazil shirt, shouldn't really change it too much. And I think Nike have done exactly the same with the England. Exactly same philosophy with their away shirt, red away shirt with white shorts and red socks. Again, I'm liking it a lot. What do you think? Yeah, taking inspiration from England winning the World Cup in 1966 with that red shirt. I think England have done pretty well with the home and away shirts this year, so they're going to be hot sellers. Now, Panama's kits have not been released yet, so we'll head over to Group H. Now we're looking at Poland. This is probably the group of death. A lot of, lot of even teams in this group. This is the Poland home shirt. I'm liking this a lot. It's not a solid white design. It's got a nice little gradient pattern. Lewandowski should score a lot of goals wearing these. What do you think? Yeah, pretty solid. I like Nike have actually added something to that front panel with their diagonal with some horizontal stripes as well. Yeah. I think it's a nice touch because otherwise it could just be a little bit too plain. Now over to the away shirt, exactly same kit template with that vapor net design, but this is all red with a bit of white trim. Again, I like it a lot. What do you think? Yeah, exactly the same as that home shirt, just they switched the colors around all over red. A little bit similar to England's away shirt, but they've added that little bit of graphic again. So I'm going to say it's a decent shirt overall. Now over to Sadio Mane Senegal. This is the away shirt. The home shirt hasn't been released yet, but again, a nice sort of tribal African pattern on the front there with the green trim. I like this a lot for an African team. What do you think? better from Puma because if they just left it all over white with those green touches again I would have said it's a little bit too basic and boring but I like they've given it a little bit of a tribal detail all across the chest panel I think this is a decent shirt now over to the kit I probably want to buy for the World Cup Colombia may or may not do well at the Russia World Cup they did well last time in 2014 but this is their home shirt same kit template as the Argentina away kit with that nice panel design on the underarms yellow home shirt what do you think Decent home shirt for sure. Obviously one of the most iconic in the World Cup history because of that bright yellow colorway. Yeah. And also Colombia have had some really decent players in the past as well. Last time around, Ham is one of the best players in the World Cup. So maybe he's gonna score some more goals this time around too. And the away shirt is very, very nice again as well. It's blue with a bit of red trim. What do you think? Yeah, I think blue, red, almost a blue orange. I think that's a really nice color combination. It's got a little bit of a graphic on that left side of the front panel as well. Yep. So I'm gonna say Columbia done pretty well with their shirts for the World Cup. And the last team in this video is Japan with their Samurai Blue home shirt. I like this a lot, what do you think? Well, the name is Samurai Blue and that's because it takes inspiration from Samurais. I think this is actually very nice, that royal blue, navy blue almost all across the shirt and that white pinstripey dotted detailing all across the front panel. I like it's got the two crests up and down across from that Adidas logo. Yeah. One of my favorite teams in the World Cup as a second team because I love Japan so much and Mizuno are from there. Yeah. I wish this shirt was actually made from Mizuno, that'd be a nice touch. But what about the away shirt? Away shirt is white. A lot of teams have white in this World Cup. It's all those FIFA rulings and FIFA standards. But vote in the poll car now. Who you think is going to win the World Cup? That's us, many Guys, that's a wrap for the day. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching as always. We'll see you next time.